Horrifying today. Live footage of the Kilauea volcano erupting, releasing hellish lava. Kilauea began erupting explosively 100 years ago this week, for the first time in nearly a century. The eruption lasted about 17 days. The eruption occurred from Halamaumau at Kilauea's peak but was marked by a seismic crisis and magma intrusion at the bottom of Puna, 30 miles, 50 kilometers, away. In February 1924, the lava lake at Halamaumau began flowing back underground. In mid-April, the lower Puna shook almost constantly, and the ground cracked as lava from the empty lake flowed underground toward the lower east rift zone. The crisis ended on April 28 before the lava erupted, and evacuated farm workers resumed their work. At Kilauea's summit, Halamaumau's ground level began to fall on or before April 29 and fell 328 feet 100 meters, by May 7, the date of the last measurement. Rocks falling from the crater walls created thick clouds of dust. Hot ah paste, left over from the drained lava lake peeled off the walls, but observers noted no major collapse. The first explosion was not observed on the night of May 10 to 11 and threw blocks weighing more than 330 pounds, 150 kilogram, 200 feet, 60 meters, from the crater. After relative calm on May 11 to 12, the eruption occurred in earnest on May 13. After that, more than 50 different explosions occurred until May 27, when the eruption ended. Thousands of rocks were thrown high into the air, littering the bottom of the caldera. Severe electrical storms accompanied some of the explosions, and lightning knocked out power lines far down the road to Hilo. The earthquake shook the ground, and rain of mud with pea-sized droplets, called accretionary lapilli, hit the peak. Blocks weighing several tons landed more than half a mile, one kilometer, from the crater. An eight-ton block that landed about a mile, two kilometers, southeast of the crater has been a fixture for visitors for years, even surviving the caldera's collapse in 2018. The peak of the explosion occurred on Sunday, May 18, when the two largest explosions occurred. A number of observers were at the bottom of the caldera during the first incident, and one of them, Truman Taylor, was seriously injured by falling rocks. By extraordinary coincidence, 56 years later there was a devastating eruption of Mount St. Helens on Sunday, May 18, 1980, and both eruptions killed a man named Truman. Truth is sometimes stranger than fiction, 